It's a time for celebration, reflecting on all you've achieved. Your hard work and triumphs amongst all the uncertainty. I know today is different than you may have pictured it. But despite the time you've spent apart, you're always together in spirit. Found by your talent, your vision and artistry. Makers, builders, designers, performers and all that's in between. You've risen to every challenge, adapted to every change. Showed strength and courage through everything you've made. From fashion to photography, curation to media. Jewelry to ceramics, design to furniture. Whether writer, gamer, animator or something that can't be described, You've overcome the hardships and reached the finish line. But know that this is not the end. Really, it's just the start. Because the world needs creativity and is waiting for your art. Groundbreaking projects, ever-evolving ideas, making a difference through sustainable careers. Be proud of all that you've achieved, what you've learned, and who you've met. And take that knowledge forward when taking this next step. Stay determined, stay connected, keep growing and asking for help. The part of a community renowned throughout the world. It doesn't matter what shape that took, you are more than just four walls. Break out, break through, be bold, be you. Push boundaries, challenge, and chase. Keep looking forward to a time where you can all be together again. Be tenacious, daring, fearless, original, unique. Every brushstroke, every stitch, every word you write or speak. Wherever you are right now, however near or far, take a moment to remind yourself of all the things we are. We are ready, we are able. We have stories to build and shape. We are graduates of UAL, of UAL, of UAL, of UAL, of UAL, and the future is ours to make. I'm James Pennell, UAL President and Vice-Chancellor, and it is my great pleasure to welcome you to this joyful celebration of our graduating students from 2020 and 2021. A virtual ceremony is not what anyone would have wished for, but we hope you will be able to join us for an in-person ceremony at some point over the next five years. In the meantime, I hope you will enjoy what we have put together for you today. Our opening sequence featured a specially commissioned piece by poet Maria Ferguson, which was delivered from all six of our colleges by our Students' Union sabbatical officers, past, present and future. You will see more of them later. I'd like to thank them for their contribution to this ceremony and for all they have done or will do on behalf of students at the university. I'd like to offer my warmest congratulations to all of you. The challenges of creative education are immense. And during a global pandemic, those challenges are amplified manifold. But you have risen to them with courage and ingenuity. Your creativity has continued to shine throughout and you have produced work which will inspire, excite and provoke. We will see a small sample of some of that wonderful work during the ceremony and there is much more on this platform and on the Graduate Showcase. Many of our students are planning their next steps from their homes and our Chair of Governors, David Isaac, has been speaking to some of them. Hello, I'm David Isaac and I'm Chair of the Governors at UAL and I'm really delighted to be with you today. I'm sure you all remember the important day when you realised that you wanted to study the creative arts. In fact, that you had to study the creative arts. And now you've done it. You've studied hard and today's the day that you graduate. 
In this part of the ceremony, I'm really interested to know what you're all going to be doing next. Some of you will go on to set up your own businesses. Some will become creative leaders or be makers. Some of you will go on to teach or to do further study. And some of you are going to take time to explore what's right for you. And of course, many of you will do a combination of several of these things. Let's see what some of our graduates around the world have to say about what they're going to do next. I accepted an offer from Fashion Design Women's Wear MA at Central St. Martins, and I will prepare my own label with my business partner at the same time and while well during the MA study. Uh, so I have a place at the National Film and Television School to study model making for animation. Uh, I did a stop motion animation for my final piece and really enjoyed it and that kind of geared me towards this path. Um, yeah, so I start in September um, and I'm hoping that it will get me a career in the props industry, which is something that I've been wanting to do pretty much all my life. I'm going to continue my final major project, which is Check Out Magazine. Uh, I hope to be able to see it grow and flourish while also working freelance on a variety of projects and uh, consulting on digital projects for a variety of brands too. I would really love to go to Paris to, to do an experience there in the fashion field and in the creativity field. I'm deeply interested in the future creative uh, financial empowerment space. So especially how students kind of across creative fields um, are able to monetize their work post-university. Uh, financial literacy combined with in-university in training really opens up a whole new avenue of empowerment across social class, LGBTQ+, and gender identity divides. It's such a large part of what makes a successful designer. I'm working on a new project building new immersive learning experiences based on the skills of collaboration in a post-globalization society. How will you develop the connections that you've made during your time at UAL? Well, we live in 2021 now, so communication shouldn't be a problem anymore. And collaboration is a key word at UAL, and I managed to meet so many talented people that I think will remember me. I'll definitely remember them, and hopefully we can collaborate in the future. My classmates are so incredible. I've made connections that I will cherish throughout my um, professional career um, and beyond. Uh, like being around the creative energy of my classmates, um, even when it was digital because of COVID, um, is something that dramatically increased um, the scope of what I believe creativity was. We're all so amazing and powerful at what we do. And that is something that I will never forget. I think the connection I made during these four years are so valuable. I would definitely keep in touch with my friends. And if I have the opportunity to cooperate with them again, I would definitely invite them. And I know someone who will launch their label like after the graduation. So I think it's really exciting to see where they are in the future. And I'm really looking forward to them. I joined Camberwell in second year. So a lot of the time I've been here, it's been online. And I kind of was a bit worried that that would mean that I wouldn't really make any connections, but I actually really have. Um, it's been really helpful because We've had to kind of be really clever with thinking about how we can present our work on Instagram. So we've had to really come together to do that. And I've had some really great interactions with my tutors and I've, I've made some really good contacts through them, which I really hope to keep. As you know, UAL has a very active alumni association. How do you think you'll make use of it? I think UAL has a really unique uh, network and alumni association. I think it's a really great space to meet more people from all around the world who have all these different talents so I'll definitely be connecting with those people in future to work on projects together. I look forward to uh, utilizing the active and broad alumni association uh, to make these global connections and to meet other alumni across the world who hopefully will be amazing collaborators. Um, I think it's one of the best times to be in the creative arts right now because it's one of the core roots to finding and creating a better future um, for everyone. Thank you to everyone who contributed to this section of our ceremony. 
There's one message that I'm really keen to leave with you today, and it's this. Always be sure to embrace equality and inclusion in everything that you do. Enjoy what is different and unique about you and celebrate difference in others. We are stronger when we are authentic and able to be ourselves. That way we can all help to make the world a much better place. Thank you very much. Now let's go over to our Chancellor, Grayson Perry, to say a few words. Welcome to the virtual graduation ceremony for University of the Arts, London. This is a day to remember, a day to celebrate passion, commitment, hard work and creative excellence. It is a day all about you, our brilliant graduates, and soon to become our alumni. I so wish I could be with you in person. It is always one of my highlights of the year, clapping you across the stage, seeing your smiles, your proud parents, and your sensational shoes. I hope you will come back to a future ceremony so we can enjoy those moments together. The global COVID pandemic has made the last 18 months an extraordinarily difficult time for all of us, but it has especially affected the lives of students. So we celebrate today, not just your creative and academic achievements, but your determination for coping with the huge extra pressures the pandemic has brought upon you. Today, we are celebrating graduates from both 2020 and 2021. UAL, of course, is made up of several colleges, teaching a huge variety of courses. What binds them together is a love of beauty and a need to communicate fresh ideas. Art College is the one fixed rung on the greasy pole of becoming an artist. Anyone can become an artist without going to art college, but it's difficult to make a career of it without having spent time there and learned and absorbed what it is to be an artist. Being an artist has given me so much more than just a job. It has given me a whole way of life. I think it's kept me sane. Many of you will be graduating from fashion courses. I love fashion because it combines the freedoms and excesses of creativity with the pragmatism and limitations of the body, craft and industry. You graduates are powerful. You are the people who will decide how we all look in the future. You will dress our hopes and our loves. You are shapers of identity. Whether or not you are graduating from the London College of Communication, you'll have to agree it's a great name for a college. Communication, building relationships. It is why we have big brains, central to a good life, a happy life. You are gonna be so happy. 
The kind of subjects you have studied are so central to all our lives. You have a lot of power. UAL is a place of freedom, a place to experiment, a place to get it wrong, to make mistakes. Mistakes are hard to accept and you will never stop making them. They are central to the creative process and you are all about to join the elite club for people making a career out of art and creativity and exciting new things often start as mistakes. They have me as chancellor. I am a bit of a liability. You may be thinking, wow, that guy really looks in command. But like many artists, I'm often riven with self-doubt. If you're anything like me, you'll feel anxiety that you are an imposter and the real creative person is somewhere else. But fear not, this feeling is good. It is the natural state of the person who is trying to do something new, something untried before. No wonder it feels odd. In fact, in the creative business, if you start feeling comfortable, it's time to give yourself a good talking to. You are now heading out on a road, a long road. Careers in the arts take time. It can take years or even decades for a creative person to find their full voice. Your voice will form over time from skill, hard work, experience, and a good dollop of luck. A career in the arts is a marathon, not a sprint. And where is this long road heading? You are heading out on a pilgrimage. And what are you looking for? And what you will find is a precious thing in our world. You are looking for meaning. I hate to be the one to tell you, but life is meaningless. Your job is to help give our world meaning. Simple! You are crossing a ritual threshold. Creativity is no longer a small private matter. From now on, it is a wonderful public responsibility. Talking to students, I'm always heartened by how politicized they are. It is great to hear a diverse range of voices preparing to go out and speak through their work on a diverse range of issues. You are the special sort of people who will go out into the world and give it a good hard look. You have the potential to change the world for the better. Your art, your craft and design and innovation will inspire others and enrich their lives. As the Guardian newspaper said, science can make you live to a hundred, but without a feel for the arts, what's the point? You are brave souls embarking on this journey, for there are hardships along the way. You came to University of the Arts London because you love what you do and wanted to learn more. Few of you would have come thinking that it was a guaranteed path to great wealth. The joys of a creative life are reward enough. But many of you will go on to great jobs. Some of you will start successful businesses. Also now, you are ambassadors for the creative life, inspiring the next generation of artistic talent. It will be, I hope, a fun life, but it's a serious business. In Britain in 2017, the creative sector, according to government figures, was worth over a hundred billion pounds to the economy and employing two million people. You creatives are to the 21st century what the engineers and mill owners were to the 19th. You're about to join an industry where the UK leads the world. Studying at UL was a great decision. So please, enjoy your virtual graduation. We're all very proud of you, both for what you have achieved and for the ways you will make the world a better place. Congratulations.
Next, we're going to hear from your head of college and a couple of your deans. Here they are in conversation with your students' union representatives, giving some insights and great advice for you to take with you as you prepare to leave UAL. What was the best piece of advice you've ever received? Yeah, I, I, I think Ron Hazelden, when I was a, when I was a student doing the MA, said uh, he said if it if it feels hard, you're probably doing it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I've had lots of good advice, but I think the piece that I'd choose is don't look down. And that's because I'm a bit of a worrier. And it was a tutor on my BA who said to me, don't look down, look straight ahead. And I think I remember that to this day and it keeps me going. What did you learn about yourself after graduating from university? It took me a time. I, 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 um, I, I'm still learning. And um, I, after quite a number of jobs and three kids and stuff, I, 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 did, uh, I did start teaching education. I was always a maker, always doing art. But actually what I learned about myself was that I, my career is people. I had a terrible education, so I learned that I actually had to learn again and to be myself. I learned that I'm a collaborator and I'm better working with other people than I am on my own. And I don't think I had a chance to learn that at university in the way that I think students do now. But I'm better when I'm working in team. Why does creativity matter? Creativity matters because it makes us human and it helps us make sense of being human. And I think that it's like the alchemy that makes things that seem fixed and intractable more possible, movable, realisable. And I think it's what we need right now and that the future needs creativity to be more sustainable, for us to be more just and for us to be more equitable. Because the world has got a set of really difficult problems which can't be solved through technical devices, political rhetoric or the standard ways of thinking. We need imagination, we need creativity, and we need to be thinking about new futures and how we're going to live together. Uh, it's an essential human need, and we, everybody has it, everybody needs it. Um, I think you can nurture it, and you can nourish it, which hopefully is what we do, and then it becomes potent. And when it's potent, it brings people together, it changes the world. Yeah. What questions should we ask in the world as UAL graduates? I think there's one overwhelming and critical question for everyone to ask which is how do we avoid the climate emergency? I think the really important question to ask is in any job, any piece of work, who does my work privilege? Who does it benefit? And who does it work against or disengage or disempower? And I think if we all ask that of ourselves, that it gives a kind of ethical framework and grounding. And I really believe that UAL students learn that and embody that and take that out into the world. And it will make us all better for it. I think just pause the challenge. Why not this or why not like this? What is your one piece of advice as we start our journeys beyond UAL? I think be patiently impatient. So if it has to happen, make it happen, but don't rush. You never got there any quicker by rushing. Oh, and, and if you're going to do it, do it with extra colour. Keep going. Don't watch the clock. You have time. It doesn't feel like it, and there's a kind of hunger to do everything and get everything now, but it takes time, and if you persevere, it will happen. I think my one piece of advice is to be yourself, but always be yourself on behalf of others. Which one word sums up UAL students and graduates? Saviours. Our saviours. Luminary. And I mean that in the sense of being leaders and influencers, but more importantly, as shedders of light in the world. Brave.
I know this is a virtual graduation, but surely we're going to have some sort of special ceremonial moment? <laughs> I'd like to welcome to the stage Colin Levens. Please accept this award on behalf of all the graduates of 2020 and 2021. Thank you. Hello graduates. I never thought summing up the last three years would be this difficult. When we pictured our journey through university, none of us imagined a world under lockdown caused by a global pandemic. Many people have lost loved ones to COVID and our thoughts are with them, their families and their friends. The last 18 months have brought with them challenges in so many aspects of life and highlighted the inequalities which still taint our society. We have seen the arts once again disregarded while we sat at home painting, knitting, creating and binging box sets. We have been handed a mirror and slowly acknowledged systematic racism and witnessed the escalation of the climate emergency. There is so much work that institutions, including UAL, need to continue doing to tackle these issues for good. We all need to continue doing all we can wherever we end up to make sure our society changes for the better. Through all of this, you, the graduates of 2020 and 2021, found the time and energy to learn, develop and refine your skills. You are the definition of adaptability. On behalf of all graduates, I would like to thank the course teams, the technicians, the support staff, the estate staff, the cleaners, and everyone else who helped us through the good times and the bad. It can't have been easy for you either. So you're about to enter this ever-changing and unpredictable world as experts in adapting to succeed. I know there have been times when this moment didn't feel achievable and times where the stress was immeasurable. But you're here, not only in spirit, but as part of a community, as Central St. Martin's graduates, UAL graduates. The big doors are opening as you take your next steps. Thank you, congratulations, and good luck. Let's ask James Pennell to close the ceremony. Your graduation does not mean the end of your relationship with the university. As our newest alumni, you are now members of the world's largest creative network. We very much hope you'll stay in touch with us and with each other, make the most of the support and advice UAL can give you, and in years to come, work with us to nurture the next generation of creative talent. The Big Future section on our website is the place to see what is on offer to you as a new UAL graduate. Please enjoy the rest of your graduation experience today. Explore the platform, use the virtual photo booth, and share the pictures you create. Go shopping, view the gallery of student work, take a look at big futures. Thank you for choosing to study at UAL and for both inspiring and challenging us. Some of you will go on to change the world in which we live, but we hope all of you will go on to make a living doing what you love. Wherever you go and whatever you do, the very best wishes of everyone at University of the Arts London go with you. <laughs>